This is KMTV 3 News Now. I'm Vanessa Villafuerte with 3 News Now. Here's a look at what's happening now. Lincoln-based nonprofit Civic Nebraska is looking for volunteers to serve as nonpartisan election observers for the upcoming primary and general elections. Election observers act in a passive role at polling places, monitoring how elections are conducted and taking note of any irregular treatment of voters. Civic Nebraska uses this information to create a post-election report, which is shared with election officials and the public to identify what went well and what needs improvement. Volunteers have to be at least 18 and attend one virtual or in-person training session before election day. Well, the new COVID-19 variant has been identified in the United Kingdom. The strain is known as XE. It's a combination of the original Omicron variant and its subvariant VA2. Early indication from the UK suggests XE could be slightly more transmissible than BA, but the World Health Organization said more research is needed. Health experts say there's no reason to worry yet because combination variants are very common and often disappear on their own. And I'm 3 News Now meteorologist Chris Swain. Temperatures in the upper 30s tonight, not as windy as where we've been. Partly cloudy skies, but the winds return into Wednesday. We're looking at gusts in the range of 40 miles per hour. Cooler temperatures and spotty sprinkles are possible. Just enough to shake out a few raindrops here and there. Far from a washout, but we'll have to dodge a little bit of rain. Windy conditions on Wednesday into Thursday. The transition to a wintry mix is possible by then. Temperatures holding in the uh, 40s until we make the bigger jump to the 60s and 70s. The second half of the weekend and in the next week, mainly cloudy to partly cloudy with some spotty to scattered showers by then.